I'm Eric Naso with NewShooter.com, and we're at NAB 2019. I'm at the ZCam booth with Kinsan. How are you today? Thank you. So, it must be a busy day for you. Well, it's yeah, it's first day. We've been running around having a good time, and uh, you have a very interesting new camera. Yes, this is the uh, the Zcam E2. This is the latest uh, S6. But remember, last year in NAB we announced the uh, Zcam E2. Yeah. This is our standard version. So this is the extension of our E2 family. That's impressive. That a year later, you already got another camera. And it's not only one camera. We announced um, the S6, which is a Super 35 uh, 6K version. But at the same time, there's going to be the uh, F6, which is a full frame 6K, and a full frame 8K called so called the F8. So all three cameras um, will be launched in October. And right now, you don't have the full frame camera here. Uh, not the full frame camera, but the Super 35 6K is here. Well, that's what we're going to talk about right now. Tell me a little bit about this new uh, 6K S35 camera. Yeah, this is the, um, because Super 35, I think, is the, uh, very suitable for the professional cinematography. And uh, this one will do um, 6K resolution up to 60 frames. And uh, when it comes to 4K, I think we'll do uh, 4K 100 at least. And then we'll see how we handle the uh, lower resolution frame rate. Um, 10 bit. Um, we will be able to, we should be able to do ProRes, but of course subject to the uh, licensed uh, certification process. Um, when it comes to uh, RAW, we will have 12-bit uh, and 14-bit RAW. And, and of course, we will support uh, H.264 and H.265 encoding. Mm. Okay, let me go backwards a little bit. In HD, what are the resolutions, I'm sorry, what are the frame rates? In HD, I think we should be able to do uh, more than 200. That's amazing. And what's the image look like in these higher frame rates? I know some cameras kind of take a hit when they start re, you know, ramping up that frame rate. It will be very consistent. You know, our, uh, we are very confident on our color science because end of the day, I mean, it's all about the uh, image quality. And we spend a lot of uh, effort to do image optimization and image tuning. Particularly when you look at the skin tone, you know, we have done um, a lot of uh, work, hard work. Mm -hmm. to turn it. And as far as uh, we talked a little bit about uh, about color, and so is it going to be like a 422 10-bit all four, the way through? 422. All yeah. the way through and all the, all the frame rates and resolutions? Uh, when it comes to H.265, then it, I think it's only 10-bit uh, 420. Mm -hmm. For ProRes, we should be able to do 10-bit uh, uh, ProRes HQ and uh, ProRes 422. That's good stuff. Now, what's it going to be recording to? It will be uh, recording to the internal um, CFast. We have a CFast um, card slot here. So that is very reliable, so you don't need to record externally. All right. And because you don't really need to record externally, it's, it's, it, ProRes is a, a great codec to record to. You don't need to have, you don't have SDI on the, on the camera? Yeah, we have uh, HDMI. Oh. So, so if SDI is needed, then uh, you can uh, use um, external HDMI SDI converter. Because the overall idea is to make the camera body as yeah. compact as possible. We want to, we always want to make you know small form, form factor camera because small form factor camera allows you to go into uh, challenging uh, setups, challenging scenes to shoot in some very special view angle, um, and and that's why we uh, we want to make it compact and uh, try to you know take away and minimize some of the. Um, uh, connectivity but at the same time um, I think we do have a pretty complete <laughs> connectivity uh, on the rear here as you can see we have the uh, external uh, Wi-Fi antenna port the Ethernet RJ45 and uh, a true control port here the mini XLR um, even for power we support uh, both the Sony MPF battery and also the Nemo power now your uh, other camera, this one here, gets like crazy, uh, you know, long run times with the battery. What do you, what do you, what are you getting on this one, and what do you think you'll be able to get on these? I think on the uh, standard E2 mm -hmm. with a uh, Sony MPF 970 at 4K30, it should be able to uh, record continuously for a little bit more than five hours. Yeah. So, uh, I see that you have Ethernet on the back. Yes. Uh, talk to me a little about how that could be utilized. Oh, this Ethernet is amazing because um, 
on one hand, we do provide um, open API and SDK um, to all our customers. So for those who are capable to develop their own software applications, they can take advantage and leverage on the open API um, to control the camera and take the live stream um, to support their applications. Uh, we have some um, really cool customers who make good use of the Ethernet port to um, achieve high quality live streaming. And they, at the same time, they, they are able to remotely control the camera. And so typically, you, if you connect using a Cat 6 Ethernet cable, you can run for 100 meter, and you can sit there with, a, with an iPad or a computer, and you can have a complete live view. And uh, if you use a web client uh, on the browser, you can basically control everything mm. of the camera. Impressive. Let's, let's talk a bit about the sensor. Uh, what's, yes. the, what's the technical specifications of the S35 sensor? It's, um, it's a very good um, dual native ISO um, sensor. Mm -hmm. The uh, sensitivity, the dynamic range is excellent. It's amazing. So, um, Do you have an, the, a, an, an estimate of the DR, dynamic range? The dynamic range will be 14 plus stops. And yeah. needs to have we a, are still in the process of uh, optimizing the image, but so far, I mean, we are seeing amazing results uh, of this sensor. Mm. So we, we think this is going to be very strong proposition in the market. Mm. And you'll have a log kind of profile to take advantage of the sensor's uh, abilities? Yeah, and uh, I think because uh, there will be um, MFT mount, a EF mount and a PL mount, and because the fact that we have to support uh, different resolutions, and uh, different comp books. And uh, one of the things that our E2 customers uh, highly appreciate is the fact that we support anamorphic uh, mode. So they, they will be able to have a wide range of selections. And what's the, how sensitive is the, is it very low light oriented? Or what, and low light is, is, is pretty good. I think the, uh, the E2 is widely recognized as uh, a, a, a pretty good uh, low light um, sensitivity uh, quick camera um, because that uh, standard E2 also supports the dual native ISO so does this uh, E2 S6 it's also dual native ISO and where does the, uh, the dual native ISO kick in like what's the range for you know upper so lower in the in the current convention um, the uh, low ISO will be uh, 400 while the uh, the high native ISO will be 1250 so um, the 1250 would, uh, would handle the low light situation pretty well. All right, anything else you want to tell me about the, uh, the um, Z-Cam? There's one more thing, you know, with the, uh, the USB Type-C, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. this port you may connect um, to an iOS device. Oh, look at that. So the iOS device uh, will allow you to, so this is the control panel, uh -huh. the control panel so you can use the, uh, the touch screen to control everything on the camera instead of you know, going through the buttons up here and down there. So you can use an iOS device to do the control. At the same time, if you prefer not to use an external monitor, uh, you may also do the, uh, live preview with the iOS device, with an iPhone in this case. Wow, it's pretty cool. Very cool. Uh, the body design is very familiar. It's, it's, it's similar to it's the other model? almost identical as our standard E2, except that this is 10 millimeter longer. Okay. Yeah, so we want to maintain the, uh, the overall look and feel um, so that our E2 customers can um, use the same uh, accessory, for example, the same, more or less the same cage design, so to, to make those uh, reusable. Yeah. And, uh, Compact is the key. Yeah, it's impressive to be able to get so much functionality out of such a small, small camera. And at the same time, make it affordable. Right. Uh, as you know, the standard E2, we are pricing it at uh, 1999. This um, E2 S6 uh, variant, uh, we are pricing it at uh, 3995. Wow, that's, that's a very competitive. So we think this should be a, a pretty reasonable uh, price level and uh, affordable. For, uh, and I hope the independent filmmakers and the um, small studios mm -hmm. um, is going to embrace uh, this small camera <laughs> revolution, you know, yeah. if you want to say it that way. All right. Well, thank you so much. It's very interesting. When is it going to be available? We will definitely ship this in October.
Okay. You're working hard on that. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for showing me. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. You.